They sure are, Chris. In fact, Stanislaus County is now challenging being placed in the purple tier, not agreeing with the metrics, and is asking the State Department of Health Services to keep them in the red. Businesses say being in the purple is potentially devastating. At Graffiti Dogs on 10th Street, indoors is virtually empty. The business at roughly a quarter of what it once was pre-pandemic. Forcing people to eat outside, I just don't see it as a good thing. I mean, I want people to be safe and healthy and not get sick. But from a restaurant's perspective, you can't really keep pushing people outside and expect them to keep coming in. Customer Arlen Silva is a public transit bus driver, but in favor of tighter restrictions in Stanislaus County. I know people like to get out and do things, but I think it's important that everybody be safe. Right now, Stanislaus has just over eight positive COVID cases per 100,000. That puts the county in the substantial category, forcing indoor dining to close. Here in San Joaquin County, while the restrictions won't be tightened here, the cases of COVID are trending up. Here in San Joaquin County, I really think it's multifactorial. Um, across the board, we've always seen that whenever we start to open things, people let down their guard. So we move from purple to red, and by getting to red, we open things. And the problem is when people see the word open, they think we're, wi we're widely open. By the way, San Joaquin County COVID hospitalizations have more than doubled since the end of October. And meantime, here in Stanislaus County, they'll know their answer to their tier outcome by sometime next week. Specifically, actually, on Tuesday, they'll know if they'll stay in the red tier. We're live in Modesto. Back to you. Our Kurt Rivera with that live breaking news update for us tonight. Kurt, we thank you.